Hello, I'm Cathy from The Blue Butterfly. I have a website and a Facebook page and the details of which I will pop into the description box uh, when I share this video. Um, I haven't done a video of my own for a little while so this is quite exciting. Um, I just actually had some time and I just felt there were some messages, uh, some downloads, whatever you would like to call them, that I've been given that I feel um, now is a good time to pass them on as we are still going through very uncertain times and a lot of people are struggling understandably. Um, I just wanted to, to, to kind of catch up with everybody and, and, and pass on uh, my insights that I've been given by my guides and, and when I've tuned in in meditation, things that have come through with clients um, and friends and my own experience in life generally and, and just hope it may help a little bit and I just feel it's very important to share these things at the moment. So um, I'm going to start, uh, begin, uh, just to say I hope you're doing well. Um, we have interesting times, lots of things being revealed, lots of changes, lots of uncertainty and unsteadiness in everybody's lives at the moment. Um, so I hope you are uh, flowing okay with that. If you're not, no judgment, because for everybody there are challenges at the minute so that's the first thing to say there's 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 no right or wrong at the moment um so i really hope nobody's beating themselves up um there is an element at the moment uh which i'm going to describe in a sec where we really it's really important for those of us who do understand the awakening ascension process um the way that we are coming gradually now um, into into our own all those of us who over the past few years have awoken and embraced um, ourselves our inner connection and connection to all and our divine sovereignty and all this is really based on love um, and how we can help each other even those who don't understand what's going on at the moment people that are waking up suddenly there's a lot of things going on. To start with, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was uh, half asleep, half awake. And the image of Freya uh, kept coming into my mind. And I'd, I'd completely forgotten it was Friday. Um, and Freya, Friday is named after the Norse goddess uh, Freya. And I kept seeing in my mind's eye the card um, that I had in this particular deck. And this is one of the ones I use on a regular basis for my intuitive guidance. One of the first decks I ever bought from the amazing Kyle Gray. Keepers of the Light. And this is the card. Now I'd just like you to just have a good look at that card. I'm going to hold it there just for a second and I'm hoping that you can see it and read it. So this card, Freya, phases and cycles, there is a beginning with every ending, illusions are revealed and released. At the moment we are betwixt and between with the moon cycles. Um, Freya is a warrior goddess she um, assists us in rediscovering our divine sovereignty and also helps us when things get a bit dark and grey and oppressive to find the way through through the illumination that is illustrated by the moon. Um, and what what this said to me when I when I kept seeing it was, yeah, we are between the moon phases. So last week we had the full moon. Um, next week we have the new moon, I think it's on the 17th and I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it's in Virgo. Um, I'm not going to get too much into that, but I, I'm just, I just want to mention that and say that as we are between these big bits, I suppose is the best way to describe it, of the moon cycles, um, moon's phases, there seems to be at the moment a definite pause. Um, I actually have made some notes, which I don't usually so because I thought some of these messages are very, diff very important to get over. Um, and just to say that what Freya is all about is working with cycles 
is knowing when phases are ending and phases are beginning and practicing that pause. I'm going to read you. I don't often use the, the books these days as such. I may take a little bit of guidance from that when I'm doing intu intuitive readings, meditation, um, soul empowerment journey um, sessions, etc. Some of the work that I do, which you'll see on my website. And, and if you've come to see me or we've connected online. Um, and if that's so, hello again. Um, the extended message for this card is a phase of your life may be coming to an end but it's important to acknowledge it's not the end when one door closes another opens you may have been desperate for change but now that it's here you could feel vulnerable know that the mighty goddess freya will guide you illusions are now being revealed so that you can leave behind anything that is false step into your peaceful warrior-like energy and welcome the changes you deserve tie up all loose ends and take heart so for a lot of people, um, a lot of illusions have uh, been revealed for the illusions that they are. And this is in the wider world. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I also know that people are being challenged um, by many different things. We have the, the pandemic. Um, we also have uh, things coming up where corruption and uh, abuse of children, etc. Ha has been going on for a long time, but the wider world wasn't wasn't awake to it we are being shown the illusions of those who are in power who are supposedly have our best interests at heart and again I'm not getting too much into that what I'm saying is when these phases end and when things are feeling a little scary to be honest because you have this footing that we that you've had for a long time and then it's like a big shake and sometimes it can be scary and as it says in there um i'm just going to read that bit again uh, you may have been desperate for change but now that it's here you could feel vulnerable illusions are being revealed so you can believe leave behind anything that is false and step into your peaceful warrior-like energy welcome the changes you deserve so those here now we are these warriors of light while there is darkness around us, for example, um, with the, the fires in California has brought a physical darkness, which is almost like a dark consciousness. Um, there is also on the other side of that, the darkness and the fear that the pandemic brings. Surrounded by all those darknesses, it's really hard to see the light. Sometimes as well, we have to be the light and challenging our own fears and meeting it head on and acknowledging but moving on so now i'm just going to go back to something that happened yesterday so i really want you to take to take that on board because i feel that is massive guidance for all of us and that came to, through to me intuitively this morning so i feel it's really important to share that um and as i move on in this video you'll understand why i feel like this is really important for me to get out there so i hope i'm making sense because like i said i haven't done many of these on my own um done a lot of collaborations podcasts etc um done a few of these so i hope this is coming across okay but i just think that what i'm saying is more important than this being absolutely perfect um so i'm going to go back to yesterday what i'm noticing around um, at the moment is there seems to be a polarity to a polarity and um, and also a, a mirror aspect and I'm going to use what happened to me yesterday as an example so I'm in the UK and um, I was actually sitting outside in the car um, waiting outside a fish and chip shop yesterday and I was just sitting there waiting for my food. Um, and I have to just mention that is my favourite food. I love fish and chips. If you want to make me happy, buy me fish and chips. It's that easy and it's that simple. And I can be that easily bought. Um, joking, but, but yeah, I love fish and chips. It's my favourite food. Anyway, I'm sitting there and I'm looking around. And as I look around, there's parked cars, people waiting, families. Everything has a real normal feel to it, but there's an edginess and I can't quite put my finger on that. 
and I kind of forget for a second as I'm sort of daydreaming and people watching, watching a child getting out of a car and the mother getting her a drink. And then I suddenly realise and kind of come to the child has to remove her mask to have a drink. Um, the mother cleans everything before and after when she has this drink. That has now become our new norm. That's our now, that's our normality. And I had, my brain had obviously accommodated for this and got used to the fact that people were wearing masks all the time. So there was that. And that brought me up short for a second because I didn't realise how normal that had come to, come to be for me. And that's because we have to survive in the world that whatever world we're in. And if we have to wear masks to be able to go to the fish and chip shop, then that's what we do. And there's no judgment in that. Um, and uh, for the greater good, then that has to be. And that's why we acclimatise and that's how we survive. But I'd just completely forgotten that that had become the new normality for us now. Children in masks. And I'm not going to get into the argument or whether, of whether I believe that masks are useful, whether COVID-19 um, is what some say it is, whether it's not blah blah, blah that's not what this is about. Because there is no judgment there. There is no right or wrong in this. Just giving my thoughts. So that happened. But it was still quite calm. And I could still feel this sort of edginess. And then I saw somebody pull up. And somebody else with a car full of children um, had just um, stalled the car. And so she was... You could see the children were hot and, and uncomfortable because it was a really nice sunny day. I forgot to mention that it was really sunny yesterday. Um, and the lady was, you know, obviously distracted. And there was no danger involved or anything like that. It was just that she held this guy up. And he was so aggressive. Um, the aggression was... I was too far away to hear anything, but it was palpable. And it was extreme in the circumstances. Um, there was no compassion there. And so I was surrounded by this family scenes and the normality of going to a fish and chip shop, but with this extreme aggression for very little reason that made somebody feel very uncomfortable. And there was also this mask wearing scenario going on around me that is now the new norm. And I suddenly put my finger on what the edginess was. From when I was a child, I've had experiences where um, I felt quite anxious about something and it was diagnosed as anxiety disorder. I think this anxiety for me, and I'm only talking from my own experience, has been this expectancy of something that's going to happen. And we are kind of in that now. We're in a scenario that we've never been in before, which for many is very scary and, and uh, is, is putting all of our perspectives, it's changing all of our perspectives. That's the best way to describe it. And the edginess that I felt was that kind of anxiety. Now I understand it. Um, I understand what it is. And I felt this anxious feeling and going through my own um, process over the last few years and my own journey. I know that part of that is because I've had past lives where there have been cataclysmic endings of civilizations and end of world scenarios and I have had these feelings before and I had that feeling yesterday. And now I understand that I've always felt as if we are on the brink. But where there was fear before, because I've learned so much about my own process and my understanding, now 
it's just a pause feeling. There is an edginess. But because I could sense, because I'm very, obviously, because of what I do, and um, I'm an empath, um, and I'm also um, a Blu-ray, um, so I tend to transmute as I'm going without even realising it, although I understand it all now. I didn't when I was a child. I pick up energies. And I was picking up all the energies of all those people around me. So this whole scene seemed quite calm and normal, but there was so much edginess kicking off and there was so much acceptance, then fear, and then acceptance, and then fear. And it was just part, very much um, similar to those, those scenarios that I've had in dreams um, and in and that, that anxiety reaction. But I do feel, I'm just going to look at my notes again, it did feel that the earth was pausing. That's what I wrote and that's what I feel. Um, so it's like the world was holding its breath. So the normal day wasn't really a normal day. And I felt that on the precipice, but again, not with fear. Yes, darkness. Yes, uncertainty. Yes, there are things to be scared of, but not that visceral fear that I used to feel with full blown sort of free roaming anxiety that I had no idea what was about. Now I understand it. So it's there, but I don't I let it flow, basically. Um, so there was that. And that's what I felt like, like we, I feel like we're at a pause period at the moment. And that's what this is all about. We're all pausing. So if you're feeling like that, or if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling disjointed, if you're feeling scared, you're probably picking up on all the different energies around you because we are in uncertain times. But some of it as well, I believe, is memory, is soul memory, um, because we've been through these scenarios before. We've been reaching this peak before so I'm not saying it's going to be like the end of the world or 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 anything like that. no not going to happen that's that's not what I'm saying at all this is change and this is the end of a way of doing things and a world or a world order that is now being revealed and then moving to another phase and I think that that's what we're building up to. And I think many others um, are, are in the same camp as me with that. But while we know all that um, and while we get these this flavour at the moment, it's kind of a flavour around us of, of being powerless, perhaps, or, or going through changes, not understanding, feeling protective over ourselves and our children and our, and our finances and, and our way of life. Um, it's it's kind of gliding through it and accepting it and not labeling it which is very difficult but if we get emerged or submerged into that darkness then we are obscuring so much of our natural light and those of us who are way showers, light warriors, whatever you want to call it. Those of us who are a part of the collective, it's really important that we keep our vibe high. And I have another example of something that happened. When I switched on Facebook this morning, I saw the most hideous thing. Right, um, it was, uh, I, I, don't, I, I skipped past it, I tried to get it, and it just wouldn't go, and it was disgusting. So I'm just gonna say it very quickly. It was an enormous spider in Australia eating a bird. It was vile, okay? And it really freaked me out um, and I wasn't very impressed with it. Um, and, and it really got to me and those sort of things sometimes can stay in your mind. Um, and it, I just couldn't get this image out of my mind and it was hideous and everything I did, I kept seeing it. Um, and it was stuck there. And so I was focusing on it. And then I went to pick up my cat, I don't know, about an hour later and picked him up and suddenly that image came in again and I was like, and then I looked at my cat, very simply looking at my beautiful cat, looking up at me with great big, enormous, gorgeous eyes, staring up at me and purring. And I just looked at him and I thought, do you know what? This is happening now. I'm holding you. This is happening now. I love the beauty of this connection. I love this moment. What am I doing? 
I'm letting the spider eating the bird. Bless it, poor thing. Horrible, horrible memory. Dark grey memory from this morning. Ruin this moment. So I guess what I'm saying is <sighs> that particular incident of, of that that scene that I saw that upset me with the spider, that could have happened five minutes ago, two years ago. I mean, I don't know when it was filmed, but it's not happening now. It may happen again in the future. I may see it again and be, ah, again. But I don't have to let it spoil everything I'm doing and I don't have to let it dim my light. So looked at the cat, smiled and thought, aha, eureka moment kind of thing that I get every now and again. It was a proper full on, I could feel this sort of download of, of what that meant and why I was shown that this morning. Because it was like, oh my God, why can't I get this off Facebook? I want to stop looking at this image. But I just couldn't. And I was like, thanks to my guides. Thanks for that. What was that all about? Now I understand why. So yeah, there is darkness around us. This is what I'm saying. This is just an example. Yes, there is illusions being revealed. Yeah, there is some horrible things um, and and horrible feelings and worries. And, and no matter how we try to avoid the news or, or bad energy or, or whatever, or other people's aggression or worry or fear or just plain nastiness because there is a lot about it seems at the moment if we buy into that and hold into that hold on to that what are we doing what we're doing then is focusing on that that one thing we're not focusing on the beauty of the moment and the beauty of possibilities because there are so many possibilities there are so many beautiful timelines that we can adventure on so yeah, I just I just use that as I'm sure that came through to me for that reason. I don't have to question it. I just know. Um, and whether you believe that or not, that's completely up to you. If you get what I'm saying, that's completely up to you. I'm sorry if it's a bit disjointed, but like I said, I haven't done this for a while. So it's just a bit thrown together. Um, so what the end of all this, what I'm saying is. If we can all work together, don't judge or belittle people that may think something different to us. If somebody is aggressive or impatient, try and understand that they don't know perhaps what's going on around and they're absorbing all this energy, bless them. Um, yes mask, no mask, whatever, you know, whatever makes people feel comfortable at the moment. Don't buy into the darkness, don't hold on to it. It's so important that those of us that can now hold the light for others. And yes, it's tiring, yes, it's draining, and you may be a bit knackered, and you may want to rest, and you may need to drink a lot of water, do all those things, and do stuff that brings you joy. And as this stuff goes on, and it's all going on around us, you can kind of look at it and say, yeah, it's going on, I'm going to, I'm just not going to, it's there, I can look at it, I can see it, I don't have to focus or absorb, I don't have to keep looking at it. Because the more we buy into the higher timelines and the higher vibrations, the more it spreads. And the more love and compassion we can show to each other and, and just be there. In light, in love, in high vibration. Then the high vibration is just going to spread. And we will get through this and move on to the next cycle. And this is a begin. there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. How perfect that she came to me this morning with this um so i'm hoping all this makes sense i'm hoping that this has given perhaps some comfort to somebody i also feel this card with the wider world and everything that's going on this card is going to have um more resonance to certain people within their own lives at the moment uh, things that are shaking up and changing so if that's you this is for you um so yeah that's my that's my message that's my take that's my downloads over the last 24 hours and i get them thick and fast at the moment so i wish i could share more and i wish i was more professional at this um and i hope i've come across okay i keep saying that um but just keep holding your light holding your vibration you're doing amazingly and we can do this together um doesn't mean it's not happening all around us but i just keep saying be the light be the light and if you want to contact me for any of the services I offer including intuitive guidance where you just use the cards usually as like illustrations and 
bring down the guidance um that's so for the greater good of yourself um from the universal consciousness uh then please do contact me i also do offer other services um including uh blue flame healing and other things but that's what basically this this is not all about that but if you do want to contact me i'd love that um and uh yeah i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you've taken something from it much love <laughs>